Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been a hot minute since I've actually sat down and talked to the camera here because my last couple of videos were tutorials that I had posted on Instagram TV. So they were a little bit shorter and they didn't have an intro or outro. So hello, I hope everyone is doing well, especially with the quarantine that's still going on. I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe. For today's video, I wanted to bring back a full face tutorial. I wanted to do something that was super bright and glowy. I've definitely been feeling more softer pink tones since spring has come around so I wanted to show you guys this all pink kind of look that I did here today if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look then just keep watching the first thing I'm doing today is priming my skin and of course I'm going to be using my Too Faced Do You primer. You guys know I love this stuff so much. It gets the job done and it also makes your skin super glowy. So once I have that on, I'm going to be applying my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer today. I am actually getting a little tan and by a little tan it's pretty much just my forehead for some reason. That and my nose always gets the most tan. So this shade didn't work exactly for my forehead so I did wipe that off and go in with a little bit of my Born this way foundation which was still a little light but much better than this shade here clearly I'm gonna have to try out some new foundations or tinted moisturizers so if you guys have anything you like let me know I do really love this tinted moisturizer it applies very nicely it's super lightweight and it gives beautiful coverage <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to be using a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer followed by my L'Oreal Pro Glow Concealer. I'm using these together just to get the perfect shade and then I'm blending that in all the way from the inner corner of my under eye towards the outer corner. I'm going to pop on a little bit of cream blush today. I will be using my Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Perk. I believe this is in the shade Dusty Rose, but I'm not sure, so I'll have that linked in the description down below. But I just like to apply those with my fingers. It is quick and easy, and also I feel like it helps the product to blend into the skin nicer. Once I have that on, I'm going to be applying some of my Morphe Liquid Luster Drops. This is in the shade Strobe. As you can see, it is a pinkier tone. And of course, I'm using a pinkier shade rather than the Optic shade, which is more of a golden shade. That one I use a lot because I want to enhance that pinky, dewy, fresh skin glow today. So I'm only going in and using powder where I absolutely need it, which is going to be on the center of my face and my under eyes. To bronze up the skin a little bit, I'm going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Brazilian Glow. I love this one for summer because it is similar to the Butter Bronzer. However, that is matte and this one is a little bit more shimmery and glowy. Clearly by the name, Brazilian Glow, it has a glow to it. Moving on to blush, I am using my Makeup Geek Infatuation Blush. I love this shade. I don't think it's available anymore, which honestly breaks my heart, but they have a bunch of other beautiful shades up on their website. To do my brows, I'm going to speed through this. I swear switched it up today instead of using my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, I'm actually using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I have been using this a lot recently and I really like it. I like to switch back between my Anastasia and Benefit brow products because they are definitely my favorite. I'm quickly picking up my Gimme Brow Plus Brow Gel by Benefit and I'm just quickly running that over my brows. I am going to carve my brows with my P. Louise eyeshadow base. This is in the shade 2, so not only is this going to help to kind of carve out my brows, but it's also going to prime that upper brow bone area and that highlight area for when I use shadows later. Now I'm just going to apply some tape to the very outer corner of my eye. This just helps to get a nice straight wing. And I'm just going to go in with my P. Louise Basic Base in the shade Winter Rose. This is from the Winter Collection. If this is still available, I highly recommend you pick it up because if you cannot see, this shade is so gorgeous. It is the perfect baby shank paid baby shink <laughs> it is the perfect baby pink shade and also it blends very nicely these bases are so versatile I love them so much but I'm just applying this all the way from my lid to my crease area and then slightly blending it up mm -hmm. 
Now I'm taking the shade Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. This is one of my all time favorite transition and blending shades. It's just a softer brown shade. I'm going to use this to very slightly add a little bit of definition and a little bit of warmth into that crease and outer corner area. I really want to make sure that today's look is nice and blown out, that it's not too heavy in that outer corner or crease area, but I always like to add a little definition there, especially for my eye shape. I just feel like it looks best. So I'm just going in with a very light hand and then once I'm happy with the way that looks, I'm going back in with the infatuation blush and I'm using that again to blend out that frappe shade. This is going to create a beautiful blend, but it's also going to reincorporate that blush that we used on our cheeks back into the eyes so it really helps to bring the whole look together. I don't have enough good things to say about this in the spotlight shadow from Makeup Geek. It is just the most beautiful foiled pigmented shadow. I love it so much. I usually just go in with my finger. As you can see, I was using a brush there, but I find I just get a lot more color payoff with my finger and it's a lot quicker than using a brush. So I'm just going to put that right up to my crease, obviously not blending it past that. And then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more definition on the lid. So what I'm going to do is take the shade Bitten and I'm going to go right up against that tape line with a flat finer brush and I'm going to go in and create a little bit of a wing. Of course you can make this as dramatic or as light as you would like it to be. I wanted to use a pinkier shade so I'm going in with Bitten because it's a little bit more of a berry shade to really tie in those pinkier tones and I opted for a shadow rather than a liner because it's just a little bit more soft and a little bit more smoky and sultry. So once I have that blended out I'm going to tape the take oh my god I am going to take the tape off and ladies and gents that is so satisfying it is the moment that I live for when I put on tape when doing my makeup because it just, mm, it's literally everything. As you can see, we got a crisp, clean line, super easy. We don't even have to do any cleanup. I went and slightly touched up my concealer, but other than that, I'm going in and I'm putting on that base from P. Louise, again, on my lower lash line, just to create a nice light pink base for these shadows, but also, like I said, I just love this color so much. It is so beautiful. So I'm just, with a very light hand and a pencil brush, dipping into that shade and picking it back up and then just kind of doing that over and over again until I am happy with the pigmentation. I'm slightly connecting this up with the outer corner, but I'm more so making sure that I just kind of blend out that whole lower lash line. Now I'm taking the shade Bitten again and I'm just going to connect my upper outer wing kind of with my lower lash line. So I'm going to just add a little bit of definition in that area. I wanted to keep it light today, but I wanted to reincorporate that Bitten shade back into that lower lash line. So I kind of just blended it in with everything and then took the infatuation shade again and used that to kind of just smoke everything together or smoke everything out. You guys know what I mean. Now I'm taking my ColourPop Cosmetics Get Paid Eyeliner. This is like a rose gold eyeliner. It is so beautiful. I am really quickly going to curl my lashes and then throw on a quick coat of mascara. Today I will be using the Tarte Surfer Curl Mascara and I can say I've really fallen in love with this. I'm definitely gonna pick up a full size once I run out of my trial size. picking up the shade Shimma Shimma and I'm going, I feel so weird every time I say that, but I'm going to put this onto my brow bone and on my inner corner to highlight and just bring everything together. Since this shade is so beautiful, I'm also going to use it as a highlight. You can honestly use shadows as highlighters. I know some people do and some people don't, but there's no rules in makeup and this is a beautiful highlight shade. And also, it just ties everything together because we keep reincorporating those shades that we're using on the face back onto the eyes. So now I'm going to go in with my Trace Sheet Cosmetics lashes in the Style Kiss. You guys know the drill with them. If you are interested in trying any of their lashes, you can use the code BROOK20 to get 20% off. And that actually goes for all things on their websites, including their eye pigments and their lip products and everything. Now I'm just applying a quick coat of mascara to my lower lashes to balance everything off and that's one reason why I actually love this mascara is I find this wand is perfect for the lower lashes. Sometimes I feel like if the wand is too big it just gets messy and then I get mascara all over my under eye and if you know anything about having to deal with fixing your makeup when it's completely done, it is the biggest pain in the ass. So to be completely honest, I've been using this sometimes just for lower lashes if I don't use it for the upper lashes, but I'm just going to be using my Morphe lip liner in the same. Sade, 
oh my god someone get me through this voiceover i only have a little bit more to go i'm using the shade backseat love to line my lips and then i'm going to be picking up my ColourPop lippy stick in the shade westy to apply that all over my lips I then just applied a Revlon gloss on top because I wanted a glossy lip today. I'm not sure on what that is called, so I will have that listed below as well. All right, ladies and gents, so this completes today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave some comments down below letting me know what you thought or what you want to see from me next. If it's a specific color or a certain kind of eye style shadow, just let your girl know. Also, don't forget to come back because I will be posting the video with the giveaway soon. And I just, again, want to say thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I am so grateful for your love and support. So I think that completes today's video. If you it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I will see you guys in the next one.